Hey folks, Allison here. One thing I have observed over my years is that perspective is everything in life. Depending on how you see things really influences what, you, what choices you make and what kind of life you're gonna live. You will only see what you're looking for. So if you tend to have a negative perspective, you're going to find a lot of negatives. If you have a melancholy temperament, I do, <laughs> you tend to probably be a perfectionist, which is actually the opposite. You're actually an imperfectionist. You're looking, you find all those imperfections, unless you make a conscious effort not to, all right? We will only see what we're actually looking for. I'll give you an example. I was in Home Goods a few months ago, and I was with one of my girlfriends, and we're looking at couch pillows, and I'm so into what I was looking at that I suddenly became aware of somebody saying her name and how I knew her and I, I hadn't seen her. I looked right past this girl, I've known her for 30 years, <laughs> not, not close, but I've known her a long time. Of course I would have recognized her. I looked right past her and her daughter because I was only looking for pillows. I only saw what I was looking for. So if you're looking for flaws in people, that is all you're gonna see. If you're looking for the good in people, that's what you're gonna see. Now, we have to have a balanced view, of course, you know, we, we don't want to just see the good when there's glaringly obvious things that are bad or just see the bad when there's so many things that are good. You know, life is very imperfect, as are people. And right now, I think particularly in the world in which we find ourselves, people are really stressed. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of negative things going on in the world. Now, my perspective on it is the stuff that we're starting to see come out isn't new. It's been hiding behind the walls and it's coming out into the open. And it's very upsetting to see some of the stuff that's happening, but we can't heal it till we reveal it. So the fact that we're going through this kind of great awakening now where people are seeing that there's a lot of corruption, there's a lot of negative things. Certainly we've been through the scandals in the church and everything. These are horrible things to look at, and yet they're still good. There's still good things that are going on and that we have to trust that God always has a plan and he wants to heal and he wants to restore. Try to see the positives. Sometimes you have to put a note on your bathroom mirror in the morning. Look for the positives because we're so used to, you know, looking in one direction or if we had that negative thinking, it's a really, really strong and tough habit to break. So you need to be working hard on the other side to break it, to say, okay, today I'm going to compliment 10 people today. No matter what it is, you can always find something to like. Maybe you like the color of their shirt, or maybe they've got really pretty shoes, or maybe they're very kind, or maybe, you know, whatever it is, find 10 people that you can compliment. And now you have to look for the good in order to compliment them. Find th 10 things that are positive in your environment. All right, maybe you're really frustrated because your house is disorganized and it needs to be painted or whatever. Find 10 things you actually like. If you don't work hard at it, you're gonna always revert back to what you're used to. So you will see what you're looking for. So look for the good, look for the positives, and look for God in every situation because I guarantee you he's there and he intends to bring good. I hope you find that helpful. Download my free report. Um, Live a life of purpose and joy, what Catholic Life Coach can move you from ordinary to extraordinary. I hope you find that helpful. God bless.